I begin to wonder whether there is an empathy deficit, an empathy deficit. Put this picture up. Does that look like a deficit of empathy right there? Not That's at all. That's the kind of stuff that happens every single day on the border, doesn't it? Right. And the thing that I think bothers me the most is that when I see the pictures and I hear the testimony, and by the way, I'm going down there myself, and I'd love for you to accompany me because I want us to see the same things. I can tell you that I'm at a point where I begin to wonder whether there is an empathy deficit, an empathy deficit. I would welcome the opportunity to travel with you to the border and to see our men and women and how hard they are working to care for children. Border Patrol agents holding children that were not their own, brought across by smugglers, putting formula and baby bottles together. There, there's no one defecating in a Mylar blanket. We are taking care of these children thanks to the resources we finally have. They're moving very quickly through our facilities to Health and Human Services to a better situation. And I'd be happy to show you that at the border, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Secretary, would it, would it have helped if you'd have got the resources when you asked for them? Of course. When did you become Secretary? I became Acting Secretary on April 8th. This or year? April 10th of this year, yes. A couple weeks later, you asked for money, didn't you? Yes. You ask for money because they won't address the underlying problem. What's causing the problem? They won't fix the asylum law, won't fix floors, won't build the border security wall. Say it's not a crisis, say it's manufactured, say it's contrived when it actually is a crisis. Then the crisis gets even worse, and then they blame you who took the, took the position in April and asked for help three weeks later. And then they wait two and a half months to send the money. And when they send the money, we had the picture a little bit ago of the 40 individual males in, uh, in the uh, adult males in the facility. You ask for ice bed money, and what'd they say? They, they didn't provide they didn't it. provide it. And yet you're the bad guy. You take the position in April, ask for resources a couple weeks later, they deny the resources for two and a half months, and then when the problem gets so bad, they say, oh, it's your fault. Even though you've been trying to address the underlying problem, and then when they won't do that, you say, at least give us money to fix the crisis that you all helped us create because you wouldn't address the underlying problem. It gets so bad, they finally send the money, but they still put limitations on you because they want the political issue when we're talking about kids. We all care about the kids. This is ridiculous. Let me, let me ask you this. We all know there's a crisis on the border. Does accusing CBP agents of torture help with the crisis? In no way. Does accusing CBP agents of working at concentration camps help with the crisis? No, it obfuscates the real issues. Does it, do, when, when the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee accuses it, accuses folks down there working hard of negligent homicide, does that help with the crisis? Of course not. Would abolishing ICE help with the crisis? No. Would abolishing your entire agency help with the crisis? No. Does waiting 10, two and a half months to get the 4.6 billion you asked for two weeks after you took the job, does that help with the crisis? No, and it left children in these situations way too long. And we've proven that as soon as we got the resources, we were able to put them in a much better situation. Does denying money for ICE beds help with the problem? No, that's contributing to overcrowding that still exists the, I today. Don't, I don't know how many times you've said it already. You said it with Mr. Roy some, and I think Mr. Keller. Two things right now would help. Give you the money for the ice beds and fix floors. And you, I think you said to Mr. Keller, you, you think that would be almost immediate action, immediate help. Within a couple weeks, you would see the message sent so these people won't take this dangerous trip. That would help immediately. Is that right? That is right. Yet the majority doesn't want to do it, doesn't want to do it. Chairman just called it a deficit. He's, he accused you and your agents and your agency of a deficit of empathy. You want to respond to that, Mr. Secretary? I can tell you that the men and women of DHS and me personally are Where's working. that picture? Hey, I'm going to interrupt you one second. Then I want you to take as long as you want. Put this picture up. Does that look like a deficit of empathy right there? Not That's at all. That's the kind of stuff that happens every single day on the border, doesn't it? Right. I, I just wonder, why would an agency, if they have a deficit of empathy, create a border search trauma and rescue team to try to protect people that are making this dangerous crossing? They make over 4,000 rescues a year to, on their own time and with a collateral duty apply to be emergency medical technicians so they can help people in dangerous conditions. Where, where's the deficit of empathy there? Uh, these, are, these are predominantly Latino Border Patrol agents. They have children of their own, and they're out there 
trying to protect them on the line and trying to do the best they can to take care of them. Well, you just facilities. said something there. You said they're predominantly Latino border agents. That's correct. Majority of your, majority of your custom and border patrol agents are of Latino descent, Hispanic descent? Border patrol agents, yes. Yeah, it just doesn't help. It doesn't help. We, at some point, at some point, we have to get past all this and focus on what is driving the problem. And we all know what it is. Flores has to be fixed. The asylum law has to be, the loophole that has to be addressed. And frankly, while we're getting that done, why don't we give you a few more dollars so you can take these adult males, have enough beds for them so they're not in the kind of facility that the picture was put up earlier, right? That would be great. And oh, by the way, oh, by the way, maybe if we had a border security wall, that would help as well. Because not all these people are coming to ports of entry. A lot of folks are coming across too. I mean, all, all this is part of the... All this is part of the problem. Let's fix it.